Hi and welcome to the second of the series on Haiku development. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through one of the simple templates that we've got. So rather than starting from an existing project, you can start from a new template. Simplest one is an empty application. This is where there's nothing there, but it is a it will build an application. I'm going to call this Hello Haiku. I want my binary to be called the same thing. But I could give it a different name. I'm going to create it under the projects folder, put it into git, and I'm going to create that projects folder with Paladin. So that gives me a project, but there's no files in it yet. So if we go to add new file, so it's main.cpp. Now, because it's just a main file, I'm just going to do the cpp file, not the header file. But if it was a class file, I could tick that box and it would generate me a header and the main, and the main would automatically include that header, which is pretty useful. But for now, it's got a main cpp. It comes in that kind of light gray color because it's not been compiled yet. So in here, I am going to type some code. Alternatively, I could just paste because I am lazy. Uh, so I will s to save that file. It's very basic. Just use the standard IO and hello haiku. If I go to build make project, you see build successful and you see that the source file is now in black. And if I go to run, it runs, but nothing happens. Why is that? Well, this is a command line program. So it's not going to show me a GUI or anything. But if I go to run and run logged, or sorry, build and run logged, then it gives me the terminal output. So I can see that application running, which is great. But what actually gets generated here? Well, if we go and have a look at that folder, projects hello high Q, in the terminal, we can have a look at the contents that's generated. If I do PWD, see that's the full path of the folder we're in. Do a quick look in there. We see that we've got the compiled objects folder. So if I have a look in there, that's how you look in a folder which has got a uh, open and close parentheses in it. You see there's a main object file there, but you also see the hello high queue. So if I go and execute hello high queue, you see it runs just like any other command line program would uh, in compiled C. And that's how you do it on. Uh, Hi Q. So that's a very basic project. The next video will look at uh, GUI development. Thanks for your time.